for the tar to bind to the metal and, the, and I want a nice clean look when I get through so I, I make all this as the edge and make for a square edge like you are an artist or something you can do perfect straight corners I uh, usually I use a wider tape but this is what we had today then I'll put the tar around it and then I'll pull the tape up it's uh, one where we had to replace the plywood and uh, we put the felt paper on and shingles and then they put this rich, uh, roof, roof jack back on. I mean you can put shingles on, I do quite often. But this is on a budget so he wanted to, if it were any good, let's go ahead and save them, that kind of thing. Twelve to fifteen dollars a piece for a roof jack that is flexible. and. Uh, they do a good job, but this one really, this is, uh, roof has had more than one shingle roof put on it. And the second one was leaking worse than the first one, probably. Um, so anyway, I kind of do like I'm doing icing on a cake, which I don't know if everybody's done icing on a cake, but uh, I had an ex-wife who was a cake decorator, so I got to have some experience with that. But. Smooth it out so that water will tend to run around it. Let me see how that forgives us when it comes to the outside edge. I make sure I'm pressing into the metal and tying it all together. And I go over all the screws. If you have a tendency to get it on your hands a lot, then you can uh, wear latex gloves. Anything oil-based, you can use oil to take it off of you or it, anything else. So keep that in mind. You can use WD-40 and pull it off of your hands. Pretty good. Then all I'm doing is <laughs> got it on me. James. Put it on my guy down there. <laughs> oh, I see that ending badly. You end up getting smacked in the head, James. Then I'm gonna put. <laughs> 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 Is this silicone? That looks like no. paintable. Hey, this won't work.